Uh, listen, I, I, it's tough as a coach. I mean, I pulled the same day that we played earlier. We played against the Lions up in the URC, and I pulled a guy, a loose head prop on 24 minutes. It's, it's, and it's, you feel terrible. It's inhumane. But it's the right thing for the team. The guy was on a warning for a card for collapsing the scrum. And I think it was the right thing for the team in those conditions. And I think Marnie, from what I hear, understands it. So, yeah, I think it's... First off, subs is as cruel as not putting somebody on at all. Perhaps even crueler, but yeah, it's, for, it's for the good of the team stuff, and it worked out perfectly. So we can't argue it, if you know what I mean. In your case, do you have a conversation with the loose head prop after the game and have to explain it more so than any other substitution, or is it just one of those things that the player needs to get over himself? No, that is a to me. We, it happened with Bongi and Banambi a few years ago in uh, in our rugby championship game in Australia. We got pulled off, I think, on 30 minutes. It just doesn't happen. It's 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 it, to me. I think it's. You know, sometimes we have a player that's struggling. And we think, okay, th- let's just try and get to half time and do him then. I think it's, you know, I had a conversation with the guy at half time after the game and a one on one. No, it's, 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 it's the worst. I, mean, I think it's a humiliation for a player in his own mind. You know what I mean? I, it's uh, it's, it's going to take some work to rebuild that guy. Luckily, I had the bailout of a yellow card threat as a justification.